welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This reading was purchased by a subscriber and has asked me to post it public for everybody to watch. I really hope you enjoy the reading. For those of you that are new to my channel, um, I do energy readings. I do energy readings um, between people and on people. That is called reading people. If you're interested in purchasing a reading from me, please email me. My email will be below. I have two services that I offer. Email me. I will send you the information. Within 24 hours, I'll get back to you. And my turnaround time for reading is less than seven days. Maximum seven days. If you'd like a reading on yourself or your favorite celebrity, or uh, just one question, um, that is what the one question is for. And then the full reading is if you have more than one crush question, I will read until um, I am done. All right. And for those of you who still keep coming back, I truly appreciate every single last one of you for coming back and watching my channel and sharing, liking, and subscribing. I hope you enjoy the reading. It's been a while since I did a reading on these two. Um, I feel like things have been very quiet between them. Okay. I would like to start again from the very beginning, just like having a summary of what had happened in happened to the two. Lee Min Ho posted a Dancing Universe video in July 2nd, 2020, which is coincidentally the birthday of Kim Go Yoon. Was the video really for Kim Go Yoon? I don't think it's a coincidence. Was it a courtship post or were they already a couple back then or was it still for promotions? I, th I feel this was courtship. Um, it was a courtship post. I'm just going to see what the cards have to say about it. I'm going to go through each one, I think, and then I'll just I'll just go through the cards. I will pull cards as I go through each one of them. All right. Give us information on question number one. What do we need to know about question number one? What do we need to know about question number one? Okay, so when I think about Lee Min Ho, he's got some insecurities going on, okay? Um, was this a courtship post? I believe so. There's the Ten of Pentacles. And this Ten of Pentacles does talk about wanting to um, accumulate, okay? Work together. This is coming together, family, friends, wedding, accumulation. So it's like... He is working on the future by um, because I feel like he would like to be um, uh, consolidating their things, start working on, on things being put together. So yes, I feel that this was um, a courtship sort of a thing, like I'm thinking about you on your birthday sort of a thing, right? Um, here we, and you know, these, this, here's the 10 of swords. Okay, he's got some insecurities going on, feeling like that maybe she doesn't care about me, like I care about her, you know, she's busy with her work. Um, but I think this is where it's kind of stemming from, worried about, you know, it not happening, right? So he posted this, and then we have the hangman. Hangman is waiting for something to change before you make any kind of a decision. So he's waiting in suspense. Okay, so he's kind of throwing out the breadcrumbs, throwing out the bait, wondering, you know, if she's going to bite. Okay, if she's going to take that bait. I believe this was a courtship post. In 2021, Kim Go Yoon posted on June 22nd, which is coincidentally the birth date of Lee Min Ho, tagging her stylist wearing a pair of Crocs with an I love you so much caption. Was this also for Lee Min Ho? I believe it was. And why didn't Lee Min Ho post on July 2nd, 2021, during Gon's B-Day, like in 2020? Was this because he was with his ex Momoland girl, Yin Wu? No. Why didn't Lee Min Ho post on July 2nd, 2021? Okay, so the first one is 2020. Okay, that was for courtship. I don't feel like he needed to prove anything in 2021. And it wasn't because he was with um, 
ex Momo Land girl Yen Yu. No, no, I don't feel like there's anything romantic there with Yen Wu. That's where he they saw pictures of her coming out of his car or something like that. They went to the movies. I don't think they were alone. They were with other people, right? Um. Like, I don't feel like in 2021, he needed to prove himself, which is why he'd like, you know, when you first meet and you do kind of like the fun things and, you know, the sweet things and your head, your head is in the clouds and you want to impress the woman. I don't feel that he needed to do it this year. Okay. I'm just going to ask the pendulum if he was with the girl from Momoland that day. Yes, his back and forth, round and round is no. Was Lee Min Ho with the girl from Momoland? See, look at that. It's going round and round. No. No. I know that this question has been repeatedly asked of you, but still many have speculation that Lee Min Ho really dated Yen Wu ex Momoland. No. Did they really date? No. Are they still seeing each other up to this time? No. Were the denial statements true? Absolutely. I know that many long-time Lee Min Ho fans would say that Lee Min Ho is true to his words, but I want to be assured it may be some others too. Another reading said KGE was embarrassed by the incident or by the news of dispatch and was the reason why she stepped back from supposed to be progressing relationship with Lee Min Ho. No, she, you know, this, no. I'm going to pull cards on him and... What's her face? <laughs> Yen Wu. What are the energies between Li Min Ho and Yen Wu? I get brother sister. Li Min Ho and Yen Wu. Isn't he much older than her anyway? Messages regarding Li Min Ho and Yen Wu. Yin Ho and Yin Wu. So just a reminder, the way I do my card readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. More than one card falling out, I put it back in the deck and shuffle till one card falls out. Yin Ho and Yin Wu. Yin Ho and Yin Wu. Demon Ho and Yen Wu. Demon Ho and Yen Wu. Okay, so Li Min Ho and Yen Wu. Um, we do have here the strength card, and this card talks about um, taking control, it's self love confidence. I feel like she needs to have more confidence. She's young. I get this is somewhat in a way a mentor sort of um, relationship. Okay, so she's looking at building her self-confidence and taking control and just from because he's considered a senior in Korea in South Korea, right? He's considered a senior. So it's like I feel like she's looking to him for some sort of, um, I don't know if she wants to get into acting, but I get this feeling that she wants to get into acting and she wants um, to build that confidence and some sort of a mentor, okay? All right, here we have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is heartbreak, loss, depression, surgery. She could be depressed and needing help. Two girls, right? These are, these are all girls. Girls, we've got another card here. It's got a picture of a woman. So. This here is about um, Seven of Cups is about um, commitment issues. It's about choices. It's about having your head in the clouds. It is about not, it's about having, not, not having um, clear insight on things. So I feel like she's looking at him to help her with that. Okay. This is about trying to make choices and him being there for that. Again, choices, two of wands. 
It's waiting for results. It's making a choice. So it's like he, she's looking at him to help her. And there's no love cards here. Um, it's about, it's about emotions. Okay. We've got here the three of swords, which is about that. Maybe it's about depression. She needs help. Okay. And she's looking at him because he's so successful. And it's like he has a soft spot for her in helping. All right. There's no love here. I don't feel like there's love or butterflies or a crush or anything like that. Then we have the six of swords. This is a necessary transition. It is about moving into more calmer waters, leaving problems behind. Um, she's working on her self-confidence. And I feel like he's there to help her with that. Okay. Many connections have been made with the posts of the two in Instagram and also their inner circle of friends by fans. Do you believe that their posts are really connected to each other? That these posts have something to do with each of them? No. No. If you're talking about Lee, are you talking about Lee Min Ho and Yen Wu? No. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. All right. Do these Instagram posts have anything to do with Yen Wu? See, round and round again. No. Okay, why is Lee Min Ho quiet these days? Is he going to work again with KGE? Um, I feel he's, I think it's for him, it's just good downtime. I, uh, he worked, didn't he work? He was working this time last year. Um, I feel he is, mm, I don't know about him and Kim Go. Go Yoon, Kim Go Yoon working together. Um, let's see if they're going to work together. Are Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon going to work together in the future? Okay, now it's going back and forth. Yes. I feel um, Lee Min Ho is quiet these days. He's just replenishing his energy. Um, taking time away from maybe even the public, the media. Um, there might be something like, I know he was working on a project in Canada, in Vancouver, last winter. My feeling is he's gearing up for perhaps the promotion of it, for the film coming out, or if it's a Netflix series, I don't know what it was. But I feel like he's gearing up for that. He's going to have a, I feel like he's going to have a pretty busy and heavy year coming up. Will 2022 be the year when the real status between Lee Min Ho and KGE be revealed? Though I would also like the two be the ones to reveal themselves of their status. Um, I don't think anything's going to be revealed this year between the two of them. Okay. Will there be anything revealed in 2022 regarding the status of Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon? No. No, see that? Round and round. These two are pretty good at keeping a tight lid on things. Um, regarding their careers, will Lee Min Ho work with Susie Bay? No, I don't, I, I don't get that at all. Will Hero be a big hit locally and internationally if given the chance to be viewed globally? Will there be a chance the two be together in awards ceremonies? All right. Um, will Lee Min Ho work with Susie Bay? a chance that the two be together in an awards ceremony as in Lee, Mo, Lim, Le, can't talk, Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon, I believe there is a chance. I will take it out. I will take this out and I will ask, is there a chance that Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon will be at an awards ceremony together? Okay, back and forth. Yes, you can see that it's swinging. I believe so, yeah. Now, is Lee Min Ho really in love with KGE and vice versa? 
Okay, now the recent post of KGE stock during the final filming of Yummy Cell showed astronaut stars Blue Heart, Baby Girl Balloon. Seeing these for the first time, I immediately thought of Lee Min Ho because he is supposed to star in a drama series, Ask the Stars, opposite another female lead and where he plays an ost astronaut. Is this a hint that the two are really dating and that they already want to reveal before Dispatch does reveal them? Or they still want to be low-key due to showbiz commitments? Okay, now I have felt since about September there's not much going on between the two of them. I feel he's disappointed that this isn't going anywhere. I get him sitting and waiting and waiting and waiting. She wants to get to the same status as him and that takes work. He's a senior and I keep saying he's a senior, she is not a senior. She wants to be elevated to his play, his where he is. Unlike Susie Bay, she wants to do it on her own merit, not who she's attached to. And I feel that either they're not seeing each other anymore or it's on a pause. So is Lee Min Ho really in love with KGE and vice versa? He's into her. I feel he's into her, but she is into her work and there's nothing wrong with that. She's looking for security for herself and she's not looking for security from somebody else. She's an indep independent woman, right? So she wants, she doesn't want to be like, oh, that's Kim Go Yoon. She's attached herself for the security and for the fame because of what Lee Min Ho has. She wants to do this on her own. And I really feel that this relationship is either not going on right now or it's on a pause. The recent post of KGE staff during the final filming of Yummy Cell shows astronaut Star Blue Heart Baby Girl Balloon seeing these for the first time and thought Lee Min Ho because he is supposed to star in a drama. So you saw Stars, Blue Heart, Baby Girl Balloon. Is this a hint that the two are really dating and that they already want to reveal before Dispatch does reveal them? No. No, I don't feel like they're dating right now. I feel this is her, I feel this is her saying she cares about him and she's thinking about him. Um, I'm going to go to the cards. I'm just going to see what the cards say. I don't feel like they're seeing each other right now. I feel like it's either on pause or... It's not happening. What are the energies? I'm not saying it's over between them, but I feel it's at a standstill. Okay. Let's see. What are the energies between Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon? It's like I feel like he's giving her space. Because she's not giving him what she wants, um, because she's not giving him what he wants, I feel like it's kind of like, he's, he's like, fine then, I'll just give you space, you know? And they're both cancers. Cancers are moody and um, they're hard to read. So it's like, sometimes it's like they, 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 like it's like she gets her head out of her ass and goes, oh, right, Lee Min Ho. Um, I'm just going to post something really nice because I miss him right now. You know? What are the energies between Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon? So what are the energies between Lee Min, Ho, Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon? I do have here the Five of Cups, which is loss, regret, grief, feeling abandoned, feeling unloved. I feel this is him. It's even a man sitting here feeling somewhat unloved. But this is saying hope it is not over. Okay? It's hope is not lost. We still have two cups that are standing upright. So there's hope yet in this relationship. Okay? What are the energies? Here we have the Wheel of Fortune. It's good fortune. It's a turning point. It's taking a gamble. All right. There's a turning point in this. There's a turning point coming up here in this relationship where they're going to take a gamble. Here we have the Six of Swords. Okay. 
This is about a necessary transition. This is about moving on. Now there might be, there's going to be change that's going to be coming here and it could be a good transition because we have here the judgment card and the judgment talks about the past, second chances, uh, judgment often appears in a reading when you're on the brink of change and with it comes memories, dreams of the past and people reappearing in your life. You may decide to give a situation or a relationship a second chance. Okay, this is about life lessons. It's about spiritual awakenings. It's opportunities to make sense of the past. So I feel they're going to have a second chance when I when she's kind of done doing what she's doing. You know, trying to trying to make a better name for herself. Okay, this is that transition, that change, leaving the past behind, sort of a thing. And then we have the moon. So everything is dreamy right now. The moon represents dreams, illusions, not seeing all the um, uh, facts by the light of the moon. But I think there's, I think they're going to have another chance at this when things kind of settle down for her. Okay, let's see what the future messages are. See, they, she, she, he throws out, um, uh, what am I trying to say? He throws out bait, seeing if she's biting or if she's going to react. And she does, he does, she does the same thing. I believe this lot number nine here, it was for him. What are the future messages regarding Li Min Ho and Kim Ho Yun? What are the future messages regarding Li Min Ho and Kim Ho Yun? What are the future messages regarding Li Min Ho and Kim Ho Yun? Messages regarding Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon. What are the future messages regarding Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon? Okay, so what are the future messages? All right, we do have here the lovers that has come up. This is partnership, love, balance of two people together, soulmate connection, past life connection. I feel like they're going to have a second chance at this. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is that um, consol consolidating marriage. Um, Ten of Pentacles. Wealth. Happiness, consolidation, family, marriage. This joyful 10 shows consol consolidating wealth and sharing love. So the card's meaning include relationship commitment, marriage, wedding gifts, inheritance, strong ties across generations, and close friendship circle. Relationships and investments mature. Okay, so you're going to have that second chance. We have here the Wheel of Fortune has come up again. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune speaks about fate, destiny, divine law, opportunity, relationships, um, improve. You also benefit from chance meetings and reconnecting with people who live away from you. Okay? Reconnecting. Just like that judgment card, second chances. Okay? This is about manifestation. This could be his manifestation. Still, a lot of dreamy qualities, okay? Not being able to see all the facts by the light of the moon. She has shown up. I feel that she is going to be the one that perhaps approaches him. She is the nurturing woman. She helps. She heals. She push, She supports. I feel like she's going to be, after this is kind of like, after this year is kind of over, I feel like she's going to be ready for something again with him. And they're going to push through it. There's the Nine of Wands. It's a test of courage. It's persistence. It's boundaries. It's someone who is, has felt beat up 
uh, but he's still pushing forward. I think he's going to push forward. He's going to keep trying and pushing those boundaries because I feel like she's going to start, she's going to give him like the green light. Like I'm kind of, I'm ready now. Let's, let's start working on this. These are really nice cards here. Okay. All right. Let's just see what uh, the romance angels have to say. Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon. Future messages. Lee Min Ho, Kim Go Yoon. Lee Min Ho, Kim Go Yoon. Lee Min Ho, Kim Go Yoon. Okay. All right. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. There's that's a really nice card. Pay attention to the red flags. So the signs are, are cautioning you. So pay attention to the red flags. What are these red flags that they have to pay attention to? Okay. So if she is not giving, giving him enough, he needs to pay attention to those red flags or she needs to start paying attention to the red flags of what she could be doing wrong, or what she can do more, but they do need to retreat. Okay. It's time to disconnect from the world, retreat, go off together, get to know each other more, spend time together. I don't feel like they, she's given enough in this relationship. I feel like she's going to start to give more. Okay. All right. There you go. 